numerous movable structures are needed to build and maintain certain projects and operations. To help move these structures, heavy transport services are called. However, there are instances that the items to be transferred are way bigger than the cranes or trailers used. In this video, we will go through six of the most dangerous oversized load transportations ever seen. First on our list is the Florida-based Bale Brothers Crane and Rigging Company moving a 460-ton transformer. They were called to transport a 340,000-pound or 154.2-ton transformer from Rockledge to the Geico substation in Deland. Their 400-ton capacity gantry system was put to the test in transporting the 23-foot or 7-meter long transformer on an emergency basis. Bale Brothers' state-of-the-art cranes utilized the gantry system to load the transformer from the rail car onto its 128-wheeled Trail King TK600 trailer. Even with very short notice, they successfully delivered the transformer to the project site within two days. Next, we have Mammut moving the nuclear power plant preheaters within the turbine building of the Embalse nuclear power plant. They aided in the lifting and final positioning of two feed water preheaters that weighed 26 tons and measured 10.2 meters long, 2.3 meters wide, and 2.8 meters high. This was for the final installation of the Embalse nuclear power plant life extension project. Mammut had to move the pieces using different techniques and systems like the strand jacks, climbing jack system, and skid beams. Mammut takes pride in his specialized equipment and expertise in transporting heavy and oversized objects. Even so, they had to take extreme precautions since they were working with heavy preheaters in a very confined space. Overall, Mammut's task was completed after only three months. It was also impressive how they were able to finish the heavy lifting in just four hours. Moving on, we have Perkins STC moving seven engines. The engines were weighing 637,000 pounds each, and they had to haul them across 61 miles. Hauling objects as heavy as these engines is not very usual, so the qualifications for the types of equipment used are also high. Perkins STC feasibility studies made it easier to prove that they fit those standards. To ensure safety and efficiency, the team had to spend four months solely on acquiring approvals, third-party support, and even getting trained professionals. After one and a half years of planning, they finally started the project. With the engines present, the gross weight of the vehicle is 1,300,000 pounds, which led them to require night travels to prevent any major effects to the public. They made use of their 400-ton dual-lane loading suspension beam 48-axle road train trailer to efficiently transfer the objects.
Up next, we have Edwards Moving and Rigging, which specializes in hauling and rigging oversized items, especially those that require special handling. They have two different trailers. First, the Goldhofer Hydraulic Platform trailers are primarily used in transporting heavy loads. It has 90-degree transverse steering, diagonal steering, and carousel steering functions. On top of that, each axle of its computerized electronic steering can steer more or less 135 degrees. Second, the Goldhofer THP trailers, who's on its cutting edge, its 55-degree steering and ability to access public roads with ease. These trailers are purposefully heavy-duty to aid in their function to combine with an extremely diverse set of vehicle combinations. It can be combined in both longitudinal and lateral directions. It also offers a wide range of options in solving complicated transport tasks with the help of various spacers, drop decks, and bolsters. Both of these are used to haul and rig extremely heavy items. Furthermore, we also have the Equinor Boca Vanguard ship hired to lift the 325 meters long Carnival Vista. Way back in July 2019, the Carnival Vista experienced malfunctions as it was traveling across the Caribbean waters. The ship weighed 133,500 tons, so lifting it using cranes was not an option, as it was almost impossible to do so. This forced them to lift beyond their usual ways. Good thing the Boca Vanguard ship had the operation float on and float off together with its semi-submersible structure. Only the top part of the ship's vertical structures do not go under the water. This is made possible by the Boca Vanguard ballast tanks. Aside from this, the ballast tanks also make the two mentioned operations successful. During the float-on operation, floating objects and even ships slide inside the deck and are properly fastened. After securing the cargo, they empty the ballast tanks within the Boca Vanguard, which allows it to fully float above water again. This allows and aids the target cargo to float back again. This process has been used in rescuing the Carnival Vista faster. Coming in last on this list is the transportation of the massive deep-water platform owned by Royal Dutch Shell. The project kick-started with the departure of the massive four-column hull of the deep-water oil platform. It began leaving the shipyards of South Korea, making its way to Texas. This put Shell one step closer to completing the multi-billion dollar Gulf of Mexico project. The moment the hull arrives in the USA, Shell plans to integrate the hull with the platform's top sides in Ingleside. Then, the platform will be installed in the Gulf to complete the project. It is predicted that this will produce around 175,000 barrels of oil every day, hence can also cut down the price of oil. And that's the six of the most dangerous oversized load transportations. 
Thank you for watching Mighty Machines. We would love to hear your thoughts and suggestions through the comment section below. Before we part ways, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you are updated with our content. Until next time.